In this procedure, you will learn how to perform electrocardiography on a patient. Sanitize your hands before working with the ECG machine. Before the patient arrives, assemble the equipment and supplies needed for the ECG procedure. Turn on the ECG machine if it does not turn on automatically. Verify the standardization and chart or paper speed are correct. Ask the patient to remove all clothing from the waist up, including undergarments. If the patient puts on a gown, make sure the opening is in the front. Ask the patient if he needs assistance. If so, help. If not, leave the room and allow the patient time to change. Dr. Smith would like for me to give you an electrocardiograph today. Okay, so that's going to show the heart activity. I will be placing a total of 10 electrodes on you. It will be on your chest, your arms, and your legs. Do you have any questions? Uh, is, is this going to shock me? No, it will not shock you. It will just be the information or activity from your body to the machine. Okay, I'm going to give you a gown. Uh, you're going to place it on open to the front, so you're going to undress from the waist up. Will you need any help with that? No, I should be fine. All right, awesome. When re-entering the room, provide a courtesy knock on the door. Come in. All right, Rick, I'm going to go ahead and have you lay down. I'm going to place the table down first, OK? Assist the patient into a comfortable supine position on the exam table. Provide support for his legs and arms. Put on disposable gloves. Identify the locations for the ECG electrodes on the chest. Prepare the patient's skin. If the patient has a hairy chest, get the patient's permission prior to any shaving. All right, Rick, I'm going to have to shave you a little bit. Is that okay? In the different spots where I place the electrodes, okay? Sure. All right. I'm going to go ahead and clean you first. You will need to clean the areas with an alcohol wipe before shaving. Wipe each spot with alcohol and allow it to dry. You can use each wipe on three to four spots. Fold a gauze pad over your index finger and briskly rub the site to abrade the skin. Correctly apply the six chest electrodes. If you are using tab electrodes, tabs should be pointed to the waist. Identify the locations for the electrodes on the patient's extremities. Refer to the operating manual for positioning the arm electrodes if needed. Apply the four limb electrodes to non-bony areas. If using tab electrodes, the lower leg tabs should point to the waist. The arm and wrist tabs should be pointed down. Attach the correct lead wire to each of the electrodes. To avoid artifacts in the ECG, wires should follow the natural contour of the body and not overlap. Enter the patient's data into the ECG machine. Identify any changes with the default settings, electrode position, or patient's position. Before you begin the tracing, make sure the lead wires are in the correct position and are attached to the electrodes. Check that each electrode is attached to the patient's skin. Take any corrective action necessary. Instruct the patient to lie still and not to talk during the tracing. All right, Rick, I need you to lie there and try not to talk or move, okay, and just relax, okay? Verify the filters are on. Check the leads on the screen or monitor. Take any corrective action necessary. Run each electrode when the leads look clear and are without artifact. Check the tracing for clarity and abnormal, life-threatening arrhythmias. If any artifact is present, take corrective action to minimize artifact and run another tracing. Disconnect the lead wires and remove the electrodes. Clean any residue from the patient's skin with an alcohol wipe and sanitize your hands. Instruct the patient to get dressed. Ask the patient if he needs assistance. If so, assist him in dressing. Provide the patient with information about following up with the provider. And then you can go ahead and get dressed. Do you need any help? No, I think I'm fine. Okay, and then the doctor will be in shortly to go over your results with you. Thank okay? you. Okay, have a good one. Disinfect the lead wires per the operator's manual. Disinfect the exam table. Clean up the work area. Remove your gloves and dispose of them. Then sanitize your hands. Document the procedure accurately in the patient's record. When documenting, 
indicate the provider ordering the test, what test was performed, how the patient tolerated the test, and what you did with the ECG tracing. You can also add any instructions you provided to the patient regarding follow-up. Thank you.